States of America. <laughs> uh, but I see, I see no resemblance there whatsoever. Look a bit like a sheep, but not like a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> but the, um, yeah, the ape. I mean, it's, it's sweet and everything, that ape, but I couldn't understand why they kept, the trainer kept saying, um, we've got to keep Maggie quiet, don't get her excited. And I said, no, it'd be great if she's excited, look good in the pictures. I discovered later when she was sitting on my shoulders why she shouldn't get excited. <laughs> Uh, a little damper for the monkey, maybe. You need a little diaper. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's what you want for the rest of the... Oh, boy, that's yeah, scary. Uh, so, um, what was your first acting job you ever had? Um, well, I, I was the white rabbit in Alice in Wonderland. Um, oh, really? Yeah, I thought I was rather touching. I, I wore, um, you know, I was about six, and I, I had a little uh, white suit that my mother made me, and little polystyrene ears that uh, I still have and still put on sometimes when I'm alone at home. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Stuff we don't need to know, but thanks for sharing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, more with you, Grant, whose movie Extreme Measures opens Friday, right after this commercial. Do you believe cop killers or terrorists murdering Americans deserve the death penalty? Bill Well does. But John Kerry opposed the death penalty, even for cop killers and terrorists. Do you believe in higher taxes for Social Security? Not Bill Weld. But John Kerry voted to increase taxes on Social Security. Do you believe criminals selling drugs to children should face mandatory sentences? Well, sure does. But Kerry voted no. John Kerry's made his choices. Now it's our turn. On our 20th wedding anniversary, it hits. Midlife crisis. He gets an earring. I said, Morty, what are you, a pirate? What's next? A pirate? After 20 years of taking it in. I washed the shorts, I ironed them, and I starched them. Oh, you did? Yeah, well, I mean, I supervised. They're about to start. Dishing it out. We can help them rise, we can help them fall. Bette Midler, Goldie Hawn, and Diane Keaton. The wives have arrived. What's the matter, Morty? Can't you buy our whole dress? The First Wives Club. Rated PG. Starts Friday, September 20th at theaters everywhere. This is the new TV guide. Just open it up, and boom, you're there. Inside the returning favorites issue, they're back from ER and Home Improvement to Sybil and X-Files. It's a sneak peek at your returning favorites. When you want to be there, get inside TV Guide. At Intamins, we know you got to get up pretty early to make a great-tasting cereal bar. Introducing new Intamins multi-grain cereal bars, naturally low in fat. We start with nutritious grains, bake them up with real strawberries and our own apples for a deliciously fresh taste that can only be Intamins. Delivered fresh every day. When a cereal bar is this good, it's easy to get up for the taste. New Intamins multi-grain cereal bars. Taste how good a cereal bar can be. Victoria's Secret Pure Cotton Underwear. Your secret secret. Every day. Every day. Every sexy way. Sexy. Pure Cotton Underwear. Only Victoria's Secret makes it so sexy. Victoria's Secret. Any chance? Um, uh, I mean, obviously not, because I am just some kid who's only slept with nine people, but I, I just wondered, uh, I, I really feel, um, uh, in short, uh, to recap in a slightly clearer version, uh, words of David Cassidy, in fact, um, while he was still with the Partridge family, uh, I think I love you. Such a huge hit? No, no, none whatsoever. I, you know, I've, as I've often said, when I saw the rough cut, I wanted to emigrate to Peru or somewhere. It was uh, <laughs> the unfunniest thing I've ever seen. So you, you just never know. You never know. Right, yeah. and you won the Golden Globe for that. Yeah, Golden Globe, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that was such a funny speech you gave. Everybody was cracking up, including me. Oh, were you there? No, but I saw it on TV. Oh, it was on TV. Yeah, yeah, it was nice. I didn't nice. get nominated or invited, <laughs> so I was just home with popcorn watching you win. <laughs> but it was great. I thought it was, you know, quite charming. Americans are so taken with the whole accent thing, don't you think? Uh, well, yeah, to a certain extent, to a certain extent. Uh, if they can actually understand you in the first place. Yeah. Um, I find on the whole they can. They can't understand anything Elizabeth, Elizabeth says. If she, well, if she asks for Coke, she gets cake always. I just want a cake. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. See? But, um... Well, my father's from Ireland, so I'm used to hearing that whole, you know, oh, yeah? UK dialect. It's harder with Irish yeah. people. Well, Ireland actually is no longer part of the UK since about 1920, but, um, it's... <laughs> Here I am, being nice. <laughs> Here he is, dissing me on my live show. <laughs> Let me just say that we already taped the show with Elizabeth Hurley, and she was very sweet to meet you. <laughs> Is that really 
true. Isn't the whole thing like England get out of Ireland? I remember my father wearing that T-shirt from the time I was like. <laughs> Isn't there a whole thing with the Northern Ireland? England is still there, and it's part of the U. Uh, we're still in the north. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so then you are actually still in parts of Ireland. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Interesting how I was correct. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really good movie, Extreme Measures. I saw it. I really enjoyed it. It's a serious character for you. It's not your your um, normal. Hugh Grant sort of comedy. It's a very serious movie. You play a doctor. That's right. Yeah, there are laughs in it, but as you say, it's a thriller. Uh, and I am a doctor. Yes, correct. Uh, which is something I've never wanted to be. And um, but I, it's, it was interesting. I uh, hung around here at, in uh, New York at Bellevue Hospital for a long time. Um, Seriously? Yeah, like a. V <laughs> yeah, it was horrible. Waiting, waiting for blood. I was a sort of vulture because um, I was desperate to see really bad things happen, and um, nothing bad did happen for a long time. And then eventually there were people who were kind of dying and I was annoying the doctor saying so what exactly are you doing to him there and they're trying to save this guy's life you know you could have just watched ER <laughs> <laughs> they have a lot of blood on that show too and I learned yeah. a lot like start an IV with four cc's of saline I don't know what that means <laughs> but they always say it on that show yeah, it sounds right. convincing yeah and stat if you say stat enough you're yeah, okay yeah stat and clear <laughs> you know that thing they always do right. Yeah. right they put like jelly on it or something I don't really know so, uh, do you travel a lot? You are a big star over in Japan. My sister went to Japan, and she told me that there's like Hugh Grant mania over there. Are you well, aware well of this? Th th there was. I think they'd gone off me. Um, but I, uh, they used to, they used to like me before anyone else like, sort of, you know, got onto that bandwagon because they like the whole idea of English gentleman is a big thing there. And uh, English what? Gentleman. Well, I thought well, you I said English gentleman. <laughs> I thought, well, you do have nice no, teeth. No, I got that. No. That is something they could never like. No. No, no one could ever like English. Uh, dental man, but um, no, they used to like they used to like the whole idea of sort of tweed jackets and uh, you know whiskey and golf and all that kind of stuff, and they thought I was the living embodiment of that thing. Um, but as I say, I, ever since I said something in a magazine about how they were a bit cruel in the war, um, I stopped getting their letters and that or a Yeah, really, you yeah. could do that. You got to yeah. be kind you, with them. You got to be kind. They were cruel. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we'll just skip right over that because I don't want the letters. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you, are you working on another movie right now? Um, well, we're just publicizing this one, and then we're going to do, a, a, I think, a romantic comedy here in the spring, yeah. We being you and Elizabeth? Yeah, yeah we have this company going, you know, and... Um, is she going to start it as well, or is she just a producer-type person now? Uh, well, she's producer-type person on these films, yeah, but she, she has... Well, she has 12 careers going at once, um, you know, she's... Estee, Estee Lauder, Lauder right. And all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, and uh, she's also an actress. She's working on a film right now. Oh, good. Well, good for you. I hope uh, everything's going great for you, and I'm glad to hear it, and I hope the movie does really well. Thank you. It's Extreme Measures, and it opens next Friday. Hugh Grant. We'll be right back with Tony Bennett after that. Twenty-four hours a day, your baby is stuck in a stuffy diaper, but other diapers aren't designed to breathe. Here's the first one that is. New breathable Pampers Premium has airflow material along the sides and helps keep baby skin dry, which is a breath of fresh air. Pediatricians know air helps keep skin healthy. That's why Pampers created the first breathable diaper. Make them happy. Keep them dry. New breathable Pampers Premium. When you were a kid, having fun was your job. You took it seriously and you were great at it. Man, did it feel good. But no. Your job's your job. Ah! What happened to the fun part? That's Doubleman's job. Because when you put that legendary one-of-a-kind taste in your face, you feel good. Really, really good. Kind of like when you were a kid. So even though you're a big kid now, double your fun with Doubleman gum. And this grown-up life, it's the fun part. Uncomfortable shoes are for dummies. <laughs> Spa shoes are different. They have easy spirit cushioning and support. Spa, the shoes that let you move. New from Easy Spirit. Claritin. You've got to ask your doctor about Claritin. It's time you experience Claritin. Ask your doctor for a prescription. I did. Clear days and nights are here. Ask your doctor about Claritin today and call 1-800-CLARITIN. It's the three-day, $99 sale at David's Bridal. $99? You'll find selected wedding gowns on sale for only $99. $99. Plus, our entire collection, thousands of gowns, all reduced, 
50 to $300 for three days only. Every gown on sale. And enter to win one of six Royal Caribbean cruises. It's the $99 sale. For your appointment, call 1-800-399-BRIDE. to Tom when I see him. Call me! Exactly. Oh. <laughs> Our next guest has one of the most incredible voices in the world, but what you may not know is he's also a talented painter whose work appears in this book, What My Heart Has Seen. Please welcome the legend, Tony Bennett. What a crowd. You know, it's a phenomena, phenomena to sit at home and listen to this great audience react to you. Oh. Isn't that, you're so great to hear Thanks for coming back. Thank you. I had so much fun the first time. Well, I, I, I haven't stopped hearing about it all over the country. Everybody really? It tells me how much they love your show, and it's, it's a phenomena. Really I was amazing. very nervous the first time you were here. Could you tell? No. Because I was. <laughs> and then I've seen you a few times at, at different uh, political fundraisers yes, and everything. That's right. And I've tried to like breathe deep and go, you know him. You know? <laughs> so I'm doing better now. I'm well, doing better. Oh, that's beautiful. So, that's this beautiful. is a, a beautiful book. I, I Thank you. looked at the paintings and they're really amazing. Did you, you, how did you get it published? Well, you know, it's an amazing story. My granddaughter is, is uh, at, when she was 11 years old, Ramy, she's a, a wonderful reader. She loves to read. She has a passion for it. And her, her little girlfriend, uh, she, she met someone who loves to read also. And they were chatting, and the, she said, what does your mommy do? And she said, my mom's a book publisher. Now, here I have William Morris, you know, a big force in the music world. And, right. And also uh, uh, the late Swifty Lazar. And I've always wanted to have a coffee table book of my paintings, which I, I've been painting my whole life. And they always wanted me to write a gossip book. And I said, no, I just want a coffee. I, it doesn't have to be on the top ten, just a nice coffee table book. Well, it ended up, the little girl went home and told her mother, it, it was a book publisher, an art bu book publisher, of Rizzoli's, which is the Rolls Royce of all the art books. And, uh, and uh, she, my granddaughter got me the book. <laughs> <laughs> you see, did you pay her a commission? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> There's a beautiful painting that you had a great story. Who owns this painting? Is it well, that was, uh, that was bought by the late Cary Grant. Cary it's the Grant. first uh, painting that uh, I had sold. It took about a year and a half because I, I didn't want him to buy it, but he insisted on it, and I wondered why. And I went back to his widow's home about four years after his death, and uh, they were having a big Red Cross uh, benefit uh, in his name, in his honor. And I saw the painting on his dining room wall, and I looked out in the picture window, and the, the reason he wanted it is that's the Cote d'Azur in the south of France, and his scene out in Los Angeles is exactly like that. Oh, and really? He he so that's why he wanted it. Oh, what a, I, I, what a great story. I hear you painted. I saw in the book I read when you were working in Vegas, which is kind oh, of sure. an amazing thing to think. Did, they, did you set up a studio? No, I was on a balcony there in the, at the Desert Inn and uh, overlooked the Stardust Club there in uh, Alito. And, uh, painted that. Yeah, before your show, with people waiting right. to hear you sing. I paint every day. So. Oh, you do? Yes. Wow, that's incredible. You, you um, have been painting longer than you've been singing? Just uh, about the same amount of time. Uh, I've, I've always, you know, there's a proverb that says, when you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. And I love to sing and paint, and I've been so fortunate. And we have an original one here we want to show everyone. Oh, that's my daughter. That's your daughter. How beautiful that is. Antonio. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. And I 
frame the one you you uh, you drew a little thing of me when you were waiting to go That's on, right. and I have it in my office frame. Thank you, Thank you very it's, much. It's uh, really uh, beautiful. Thank you for doing that. Okay. You know who we have? One of your friends coming on next. My great friend. We started out together. Would you stick around and hear her sing and chat? I would love to. I would love to. Okay, hear. great. We'll be right back with Tony Bennett and Rosemary Clooney right after that. running late, so you need to start the pot roast. Come on, you can handle it. Just open the bag and season. Add water and seasoning, toss in veggies. The roast bastes itself in the bag, so it'll come out tender and juicy. Now feel up to tossing a salad. For mouth-watering meals without the mess, flavor up with McCormick Bag and Season. Perfectly tender, perfectly seasoned every single time. I'll be home soon. I think you can start without me. I used to get sinus pressure and headaches with my allergies, but now I relieve the pain and the allergy symptoms that trigger it. Benadryl Allergy Sinus Headache, Sinus Pain Relief, plus the allergy relief of Benadryl's histamine blocker. It's like having my life back. Head lice. It threatens as many children each year as chicken pox, but unlike chicken pox, head lice can come back. Stop it with Nix. Only Nix kills lice and keeps them from coming back. Nix it. I hated the taste. The first day. Arm & Hammer Dental Care's unique taste tells you it's working. The second day, I, I noticed my mouth felt cleaner. That clean feeling says it has twice the baking soda of other brands. And that clean feeling lasted for hours.